many of them they are from science background they are true. btech and all okay but they have chosen history as option many students i know that they are from english background they have done uh, english honors from delhi university other universities hello everyone welcome to plutus is and today we are going to you know uh, discuss about uh, the one of the most common question that you know the upsc aspirant while uh, starting for this preparation is facing as in or having a you know concern doubt about and that question is uh, about say on which factors or like what we should consider before opting for any optional subject so here just like for the discussion i have a history expert with me dr jitender kumar sir and uh, atul sir atul sir he is again expert in the field of anthropology so we are uh, uh, today just going to discuss in a like uh, absolutely uh, like in a very easy way that what like being an aspirant we are supposed to consider okay those criteria to Uh, to take or to have an optional so starting with the uh, jitendra sir uh, jitendra sir uh, what you think that uh, what aspirant should consider you know like which factor we should consider before taking any optional subject sir actually there are many factors as i have been seen many student here in at a plutus is yes. and in my journey at academic also that the most important factor should be interest sir Yes, interest. interest. The student yeah. candidate should have interest in that paper. For example, in my class only, I have seen that many students in the history option right now in our classes and who have clear examinations also. Many of them they are from science background, they are so, B Tech and all. Okay, but they have chosen history as option. Many students I know that they are from English background. They have done uh, English honors from Delhi University, other university, and they have joined history option. in other place i also know some of my students from my university delhi that they are they have done their history honors in ba but they have chosen anthropology as the option or sociology as the option so i have come to conclusion here is that that many student at the former student who have clear or not they argued that this scoring should be important because the history hmm. from my point of view history is the generally student concept that history is a very vast subject hmm so oh. it has so many material so many dates so many facts are there so many challenging topic yes. it has right so a student fear to choose history so the history generally those student who have done history honors then they prefer to choose history as option other student do not choose but i have not seen that in my uh, classes here at plutus is i have my student from btec also from english literature also and one is from anthropology also he has a anthropology honors from delhi university only and he has joined history optional here so i think that sometime interest is more important than score yeah right and you know that there is also of the record scholarly system is there so suppose suppose some party choose anthropology or sociology as optional not because of interest but just because of the scoring that should not be because suppose if you choose sociology or anthropology and you have not interest in that subject then it will be a problem right so i think interest will be more and if you will have interest na in the history also in other pol science also geography also you have interest you will be able to complete this syllabus in six one more thing i want to tell you that six month preparation is enough for everyone if they prepare three hour four hour at home for the six month or if you do a coaching for six month any subject will be prepared and any subject anthropology history geography will take at least six month so time right. is same but the point is interest is more important here yeah, right? so according to jitendra sir it seems like interest should be you know the foremost for while opting for any optional right sir acha now uh, uh, we shall ask now atul sir as well so what is his opinion about so yes sir uh, atul sir. sir in my opinion uh, in my own experience as well because i have given uh, upsc and written mains and reached to various levels even in interviews so i know that this is not a very so simple journey right. of the so. upsc particularly choosing the optionals because i remember in my early years when i started the preparation uh, at that time i chose uh, two optionals because before 
there were two optionals at that time so i chose uh, geography and public administration oh though okay. my background was uh, engineering background so it seems then you have the expertise or you know the experience at least of three optional subjects of then. course i okay. have uh, three optional subject experience mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning i chose and that was because uh, that was a time when everybody used to say that if you are from science background you should uh, if you have to choose something from arts because the mm. upsc is all about arts majority of the subjects are of arts background so uh, i came from that uh, uh, this uh, btech background so i had no idea of the arts actually right, so yes. i used to think okay what was i studying in class 10th or at that time in the school so i remember i used to like uh, geography so oh. i was very fond of geography because it was very scientific in nature in general or you can call a semi scientific subject at Absolutely. least yes okay. yes so uh, so i chose naturally i chose uh, geography uh, but i i came to understand in the over the years the geography marks really came down hmm. earlier uh, in the beginning in 2011 12 13 14 uh, there were very good marks that were given to various toppers uh, in the results but uh, later i found that it was really difficult for even the good Uh, academicians hmm. uh, having hmm. good academic background in geography to score very good uh, at uh, uh, geography it was very difficult for them and the marks were really limiting to 225 250 at max it was those kind of low marks were considered as per the upsc standard so later and though i had good interest i studied all the books prepared prepared lot of notes and got to coaching and what not let like every uh, you know aspirant does uh, but i found it was not worth of a thing and i had to you know change my optional and i took anthropology unfortunately that was also suggested by some of my senior hmm. uh, faculties hmm. then i thought that okay let me just see whether it this optional is really good for me or not whether i am interested or you know, me in the in that particular subject or not because every optional has its own dynamics mm -hmm. okay geography will have different dynamics history has different dynamics and anthropology it's all more of a medical kind of thing and i was from a you know non medical background the btech is not a medical background actually mm. but still i thought that okay i can do some biology also so i studied it and i got really interested in it and i even later i wrote mains gave interviews and also i you know did masters cleared net as well and i wrote even research papers so that was a thing that i got interested and really uh, ultimately dr jitendra sir has said that interest really matters of course it matters but you have to really assess your interest yeah that hmm. you have to really assess your interest whether you are really interested in that subject or not whether you are being you know fed up so, by discussing that or not so just you know like tracing yeah. again the next question yeah. from yeah. the inter yeah. so sir uh, uh, like uh, could you please explain us how to identify our uh, area of interest and in, or subject of interest and in? it should be on the basis like we already have done our schooling hmm. where we have done major subjects ha na like we have done science which include everything hmm. biology physics chemistry botany everything geology yeah. we have done arts where we have read economics also geography also uh, political science also so all the subjects which are there in the option except some language subjects hmm. na hmm. like tamil mathematics and all we have done major subjects in our school True. so we should look into that hmm. because at a upsc preparation after graduation we do generally so we are from science background or <laughs> arts background na? so suppose if our aspirants are in 12th who are watching the video right so they should choose right now Hmm. Na, hmm. If you want to appear for UPSC examination after four year, five year, you should choose right now. That then only you take admission in that honors. That will be more beneficial to you. Na, hmm. or if anyone who has done already honors and you are you are identified that you do not like that. Suppose you are doing a political science honors right now, and you do not like the subject you are studying is not good in your college level. Uh, you are unable to understand anything in that topic. Then you can choose option right now. You do a master in the different topic. and then you choose that option so it should be on the basis of your marks performance ha na you join test series 
or you write or you give it to your teacher, anyone that whether you are scoring good or not. So scoring will be more good. So scoring will be the assessment criteria. Hmm. Interest hmm. higher नहीं है. बाकी अगर subject में पढ़ने में अच्छा लग रहा है तो interest है नहीं तो नहीं है. तो इससे हम define कर सकते हैं. So it seems interest should be defined like based on the natural push that you are getting in. Accordingly, the scoring potential, है ना? That absolutely, if there is interest of yours in any subject, the score would be much higher. So yes, interest should be based on this. अच्छा, again one thing then. Uh, uh, so uh, Atul sir, uh, what do you think? What is the role of uh, guidance uh, and again the resources? है ना? Those are what available in the market. So do this uh, uh, resources or guidance that is playing any kind of role in identifying or selecting optional then? Sir, uh, I think this is uh, the most crucial part of any preparation because uh, the UPSC uh, is conducting such a complex exam. Hmm. There are so many papers, and particularly optionals are so dicey because you are unable to understand the nuances. The pattern is changing continuously. The question papers, the questions that are coming are becoming more dynamic year by right. year. Yes, and and the and the uh, they are expanding the scope of the syllabus as well. Hmm. There, whether you it is written, if there is written on a word in the syllabus, you don't understand whether it is so much of a important or not. And on the next year, it becomes important. Hmm. So that is a really a beauty of the UPSC, and that is where the role of uh, the guidance and the resources come. And this is most crucial if you have experienced mentors and the faculties. They are going to really push you through and give you the right path to how to do things, how to manage the thing, how to manage the time and the syllabus. Because you have limited time, you don't have a five-year plan. No. You have to have yes, a limited yes. time period to prepare the exam. And of course, in general, also UPSC provides one one year or one and a half year at least that requires for the whole cycle. So one and a half year or at least max max two years should be the ideal time. And there to you know achieve your target, you or your goal to become an IAS. You have to have those people who have gone through the process, hmm. know the process very well, hmm. and ultimately uh, bring you to your uh, achieved dream. So for that, you need a proper guidance and proper resources. Yes. yes. So to conclude this, if you you know want to avoid your five-year plan journey, yeah. so uh, before opting for any optional subject like I think all of you agree as well yeah. that we should keep our interest. at the you know the first priority then equally the resources and the guidance that is available for you because this journey you know uh, needs to be supported by some experts as well and then again the scoring potential and again some other uh, some situational factors those matter so i hope guys this discussion yes for the purpose of selecting optional will help you a lot if you like this video please like it share and subscribe to our channel as well Thank you. Thank you very much.